hey guys what's up what's up what is up so today we're gonna do a video but before the, oh, okay of this diagram of this awesome awesome diagram um before it starts well it already started but i just want to comment really quickly uh if you guys like the videos that i'm doing just like subscribe hit the like button or if you don't like it hit the dislike button you know or comment or do like hey say like hey um do better videos or something or do videos about this uh it's really great to get feedback uh so let's start i mean so let's start yeah so what we're going to do is an urban diagram and so what i did was uh get the sketchup model in at cinematic mode and export the lines only we're only going to use the lines uh from sketchup and that's it so we're going to export um import that image into photoshop and um yeah, just make sure the, it's a good size. It's a big image. Um, then we're going to go to uh, Google and search for grunge texture or something. Or oh no, grid, grid texture. Um, uh, this is this is we're gonna use. We can you, you can use like mini textures. I think the more textures you have, or that you know textures that go with the theme, it's gonna look cool. So I just I copied a. a a grid texture obviously it was very small the idea is that it, it looks small because it's a big image so I just uh, started copying it and yeah I'm just copying it right now um, okay 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 so you just copy it I copied it in the same layer so it doesn't have like lots of layers so what I did was uh, press control uh, in the in the in the layer and it just duplicates and then I'm just going to select um, all the all the like the vehicle passages. I'm just going to select that with the wand tool, and uh, and yeah, I'm just going to select it because I only want the grid there. It's 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 a very very simple diagram. I mean, this is like very very quick, and it, it looks very cool. Um, so I just selected all the yeah like all the vehicle routes or something and then I applied a mask on it so uh, it would everything would hide except for that um, what next what next so the next step was to create a new layer and um, and get I have a a, a brush of, of, of a person you can get that online it's very very easy Mm. so you just uh, like very very important apply the scatter mode on the brush presets so the people the person could, could just like scatter a lot and then size it down you know because it's an urban, urban diagram you can only do it with one type of person so it's cool so i just uh okay so i just uh, started painting with the brush uh lots of people you know to make it look like a very very dense city with a lot of activity and yeah just just keep on painting it um keep on painting what else what else what else okay so um Yeah, so you just you just paint you just paint it, uh, you know I, I just paint a lot of people. Uh, then I looked for the grunge texture. I copied the image and then I pasted it over there, so it could, it could just give it a little bit more of a sensual feeling of the texture. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so you just put it on top, uh, maybe desaturate it, so you can just press Control Shift. I and it just turns it black and white and then lower the opacity down we don't want it to be so so notorious so just uh, bring down the opacity and what we're gonna do now is uh, with a brush with a with a with a very very simple brush we're going to make some of these buildings stand out 
I just want to also say that this uh, this urban model I downloaded it from the Google extension extension warehouse in SketchUp, so it wasn't like a that I took a long long time doing it. So you just okay, so you just start outlining the building that you want to talk about or your your proposal for I don't know urban design class or something or architecture class whatever. Just start out outlining it in a very quick way. Well, I did it very quick. You can you guys can do it more detailed, but whatever, it still works. I'm going to outline three buildings cuz it's just like a such a horizontal image. I'm going to make it outline more. Um yeah. But you can also you can like already sense like the feeling that it has. It's like very diagrammatic, very you know, it's kind of clean, but it's kind of dirty. So I, I like that. I think it's awesome. Um, okay, so after that, um, there is like something a little bit missing, like something that makes this building stand out more, more than just the the, the outline. All right. So I, I had a brush. It's just like a brush of um, of horizontal lines and vertical lines. So what what I'm gonna do uh, was just apply that brush to um, two of the facades of of every building. I think these brushes are also free. I don't know where I got them from. You know, just you look photo um, brushes in uh, Google and they just turn up. It's it's very easy. Also, if you guys like, if you really really are intrigued, to check out this SketchUp uh, Photoshop file you can just uh, you know write me a mail to let's show it better at gmail.com and I'll send you the file I think mm, it has like a cost of two dollars but I mean whatever it's not that it's not I don't think it's that much um, so yeah I, I applied the texture and it, you can see it just looks much more like the buildings stand out much more so I, I recommend that it looks cool and it doesn't I mean, this is a obviously a diagram for a very conceptual stage of 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 of, the, of your design, you know. So, but if it was like much more precise, then obviously this couldn't be like the decisions couldn't be made like this, you know. You just you, but this, all right. And finally, I applied some soft, soft, soft shadows on the base of the buildings. So again, they they would they would stand out a bit more and basically that was it that was it i think it's a very very simple and quick diagram mm. and then you can add like the text um for for the diagram you know because the more you can explain the better i added i added a text mm. and that's it so so yeah guys remember just um you can do this with just a, a SketchUp model and a, a and just Photoshop and not much of knowledge. I mean, I think it's very easy. Again, if you guys want to to get the, the PSD file, I will be selling it for $2 or one, I think, or $2. Um, if you guys write to my email, I just, I'll just, re the email is let's show it better at gmail.com. And I'll just send you like the PayPal link and you guys just press like click and then you'll have the file uh you can also visit some of my other videos i think they're very very cool and more about this you know the, like the diagrams and stuff uh so just remember subscribe and hit the like button or dislike button and just comment on what you thought about the video so i really appreciate you appreciate you for guys watching this and nothing see you later ciao